what kind of people you hired for sales in SMB and how did that change when you were selling to mid-market and how did that change when you are now selling to enterprise? Yeah, so I think the initial first sales, like 10 sales, so I personally led. So even, in fact, I was managing myself. And then I had a couple of uh, early sales guys recruited in India, primarily other SaaS companies in um, Bangalore and around, who worked with me to do this initial sales in the small business segment. Uh, same team, actually, along with me, we also, after initial validation, we started looking at the U.S. market directly in the first three, four months of our sales uh, itself. We started looking at the uh, U.S. market. As the time progressed, how our sales evolved, like most of these enterprises we still land into one of the applications. Like today, a large enterprise has on an average more than 900 software applications. But they were not going to buy Watfix for all 900 because nobody knows the outcome. So they want to buy for one or two applications. So even though we get to Fortune 50 or Fortune 10, they want to start small, maybe 50K or 100K or something on one applications. So the sales cycle still is manageable remotely or still manageable by our inside sales model, right? Once we land into those logos, they would see the ROI, we need to show them the value, and then they start expanding into multiple applications. Now, to expand to multiple applications, you need to actually build relationship with CXOs or senior folks, show them, uh, build the trust. For that, a lot of feet on street is needed. So over a period of time, how uh, our GTM has evolved is we have a very strong inside sales team sitting in India, which is like 80% in India, 20% in the geographic location. Whereas once we land into those logos, we have regional team takes over for building the relations and expansions. So we call this accounts team. Uh, they are sitting across different countries locally, have each one owns seven to eight logos. They build relations and they start expanding there. And this team is like 80, 20, other way around, like 80% in the region and 20% in India. So that's a broadly our uh, sales and expansion model, land and expand model. And this is, they are having a cover fire from two or three different aspects. Like one we have, once the logo is closed, we pay a lot of attention on their onboarding and ensuring they see the value. Because again, the new category, they don't know what to expect out of this. So we created a specific consulting arm to show them value, actually.